fun. Okay, so today we'll be learning about context clues. Now, can someone tell me what context clues are? Oh. Context clues are like taking clues when you have like a mystery to solve and it leads you to a conclusion. And so you use the surroundings and evidence to help support your claim. Yes. In literature, we would gather clues by looking at the words around the words we don't know to determine their meaning. So I'm gonna walk through the first example with you guys and kind of explain what that would look like. So in this example, pretend you guys don't know the word vacuum. So the sentence is, my least favorite chore is using the vacuum because it is heavy and I don't like moving it back and forth. So in this sentence, we don't know what the word vacuum is, so we would underline it. And then we would go through and say, okay, so what words do I know that I think could help me figure out the definition of this word? And so we'd read it again and we'd say, my least favorite chore, we know that one, is using the vacuum because it is very heavy and I don't like moving it back and forth. So if we did not know that word, we would be able to think to ourselves, okay, what is a chore that is heavy and we move it back and forth to, to finish the chore? And then we would remember, oh, we use the vacuum. And then that would help us determine what that word means. So now I'm gonna do the second one with you. So my favorite chore is unloading the dishwasher because the dishes are warm and putting them away feels like a puzzle. So again, let's assume we don't know the word dishwasher. Can you, one of you guys raise your hand and tell me what words we could use to determine what that word means? Unloading. The dishes are warm. One more. Puzzle. So, with these words that we do know, and we kind of think about them, and we think, okay, so what chore do we unload and with dishes that are warm, and when you put them away, they feel like a puzzle, but then everything has its place. The dishwasher, right? Mm -hmm. So, can someone raise their hand and do the third example for me? Oh. So, a word that I have trouble, like I don't know what it means. So I've yeah. come to figure out what that means by um, looking at it, and I know that it was a harvest, so when you have a harvest, you collect things, and it says apple cider, it says apple multiple times, so apple cider, apple pie, and apple fritters, apples everywhere. So I can see that there are a lot of apples, so I can then conclude that abundance means a lot. Right. So in this instance, after the harvest, we have an abundance of apples. We had apple cider, apple pie, apple fritters, apples everywhere. You saw that there was a repeat, there was like, the word repeated itself, and that meant that it had a lot of it. So then you're able to conclude that abundance means a lot. So, good job. So what tool can you guys use to remember to use context clues when you're reading? A chant. A chant? Okay. So a chant would be, or a saying or like something to like help you remind yourself would be when in doubt of like a word like vacuum or dishwasher or abundance when you don't know what something means and you don't want to go look it up you would look about you would look like we did in every other sentence you look at words that we did know and we circle them and we use that to determine the definition. So when in doubt, look about, and that is how you would use context clues in literature. 